All right, I'm a little undecided how I want to approach this. First off, I'll say welcome to another Atlas episode. And this really is not an Atlas episode. This is just me beating my teams and my crew members while I am going to give an Atlas review. I have five, almost 500 hours. I have 475 hours in this game. And well, it's kind of run stale. Yeah, the developers have some big ideas coming. They think, you know, they can make the game a little bit better for people. They keep pushing their big update back instead of late February, which is now is going to be mid to late March. And who knows if they're going to push that back at all. But I like the game and I don't like the game. It has its pros and cons. Kind of like now. The tiger running out of stamina. But I play on a private server. I did play on official. My first 100-ish hours were on official. And it was before they upped gathering raids. Where they made some small quality of life improvements. And it got to uh, the grind just horrible. You spend all your time grinding materials, building a little bit of this, building a little bit of that. It took a team effort, but it was still a very tedious team effort. I bounced around to maybe four or five different private servers with different rates, some with extremely high gather rates and extremely high carry weights. This server, extreme yeah, that was me. Extremely high carry weight. I got points in the fortitude, stamina, and weight. Nothing into health, and I can carry 3,000 pounds. Which I could have swore last time I played it was 2,500 pounds. So they must have upped the carry weight even more. Which... Pros and cons of that. At least grinding's not too bad. I'm not getting... Thousands of wood per tree, getting a couple hundred wood. But the games run stale, and what I mean by stale is it's tedious. It almost feels like a job. You can't take a couple weeks off, or even a full week off, without your crew dying, crew running out of gold, your aims running out of food. I mean, yeah, an arc's similar. But it seemed like with art, you can take longer breaks before, you know, you lose your crew. But I did have an issue with crew dying. I mean, I only took a four day break. I come back, I had two crew members left. The rest mutinied and starved death, which kind of sucks. Because you spend all that time getting crew, doing treasure maps. And it seems like every time I was logging in was to spend upwards of three hours to go do a couple of treasure maps. So I could pay for my crew. I was in a big company. Was uh, still considered a big company, but no one's playing. A lot of people feel the same way. It's gotten uh, a little too tedious on the the required grind that you have to do with treasure maps and maintaining and then of course you know you, seems like everyone likes the offline raid which happens in art too but didn't seem as bad in art plus the upkeep didn't seem that bad either I've got 2,000 hours into art over some time and about 900 to a thousand hours were on official official small tribe which better than the regular official servers but still just as tedious because you got six people doing everything and we got wiped a few times 
we rebuilt a few times. But we've also, you know, had some fun PvP of our own. People online and people offline. But just as this daily grind, I mean I'm I'm logged on right now. Don't really have any any ideas of what to do in this game. Cause even going to get a power stone takes hours and hours and hours to do. The video I did where I killed the Kraken and did the power stone took a couple days. Took a couple days to farm for it. Took a couple days to or a couple hours to get there two or three hours while I was there searching see where I had to go and then of course a couple hours killing that Kraken and getting the power stone with company members I did it solo which only took maybe an hour total to kill the Kraken but it took a couple hours to find it same with the uh, the cave. Took a little while to find the cave. But this game, it doesn't look the best. It's no Metro Exodus or even Anthem. Anthem's got good graphics, but it's such a boring game to watch. It's no Ark either. For some reason, Ark just looks better love the building in this game the building's great which arc had had the same type of building where you just build a wall and then you hit T to make the wall into various different things like doorways and windows and I get why they added mythical creatures in this game it'd probably be very boring if it was just bunch of animals on islands the treasure maps you can whale to get to get gold you're not gonna get any BPs and even though you do get some BPs if you get really good BPs you're traveling the world looking for resources just to make it you can only make a few of them so if you lose it to a PvP scenario or you just can't recover your body and you lose your gear it might be SOL game doesn't look the worst, but definitely not the best, and I understand why it looks the way it looks. Traveling in this game just... It was fun at the beginning. You're learning to sail, you're learning the winds. But after you learn all that... It's pretty damn tedious. You know, I've said tedious a lot, and the game's not supposed to feel like work. It's not supposed to be tedious not supposed to be boring either and it does get boring I have no ambition to tame anything else it took a while to tame all these even on this server's rates I don't feel like taming a giraffe for thatch in fact I don't even feel like grinding anymore to to make anything I have the material I can make a brig I can't make a galleon make a couple brigs if I wanted to but I have no ambition to anymore. These guys, little schooners, are great. They get you around. <laughs> but the grind is... I don't know. I think I'm burned out on the grind. Which is sad because Ark... I didn't really get burnt out on the grind. It was more gratifying. The stuff you, uh, you got. Your wood thatch, your metal. The stuff you can make with it. There was a bug here in Atlas where the forge just pumped out forged iron very quickly. Now it takes a long time to get forged iron, which is kind of a pain in the butt. I like how they got rid of the cyclones, you don't see them that much. I like some of the improvements they did, but I think I'm in the general consensus to where this game is stale. And I might not play it often much at all I'm gonna definitely revisit when they add the new big update 
this game might not be bad if it was an option for solo players or if you had all the money in the world and you can you can rent your own server so then if you want to take a break you can just shut the server off and get back to it but exploring yeah they have different types of islands there's different stuff on the islands but it's it's basically all the same. Some islands are so mountainous, there's really not much land to it. I mean, I, I have seen some decent stuff, some pretty cool stuff, but once you see it once, you know, it gets stale. Again, that word stale, next time you see it. I don't know about this game. Might not be the game for me. Maybe if they make some big changes, it, it might. Say I was in a large company, 25 players, I'm the only one on. Why is that? Because nobody wants to play anymore. We got people mutinying, starving to death, things getting auto decayed and destroyed. No one's on anymore. And we don't even care if we get offline raided. Because there's... Not much to do in this game. Except the same stuff over and over and over. You do a bunch of treasure maps, you get really bored of doing the treasure maps. Kill a few whales, you get really bored of killing whales. Behind ghost ships, you get bored of that. You turn into... An annoyance out in sea. Especially when server doesn't have things set right and you're really dodging a lot of them ship mechanics are cool but having only four ships you can build it's really stupid you got the little sloop okay you got the schooner all right you got the brig hey that's that's pretty nice and then it jumps way up to a galleon so a brig, you're looking at 15,000 to 20,000 per mat required, you know, of the wood and the thatch and the fiber. And a galleon, you're looking at 100,000. 200,000 thatch, 100,000 wood. It's like, who wants to grind all that? Plus you have upwards of, what, 60 crew for the galleon that you have to maintain. You have to keep gold in, you have to keep food in. And these crew members are not cheap, especially in high numbers like that. So that means you're spending 10, 12 hours a week getting treasure maps, driving to it, doing the treasure map, or going after whales, driving to where a whale's at, killing whales, getting the gold, stocking the ship, logging on every couple days just to make sure everyone's fed. It's an endless cycle. I mean, I don't know anyone who really wants to spend 12 plus hours a week just for maintenance. I don't. Didn't have to in Ark. Ark was very simple. Your tames need food. Now they got cryopods, so you don't even have to feed your tames. You just have to make sure your generators have fuel. You can put your, your dinos in cryopods, which makes life a whole lot easier because then you don't have to worry about them starving to death every few days and literally log in once a week in arc now just for small maintenance just to make sure that generator has has power of course pve pvp take a sabbatical like a week off in arc you come back you don't have a base left anymore and there's Tons of griefing in this game. People will popcorn all your stuff, destroy everything, kill all your teams just for the sake of doing it, even if you've never attacked them. And a lot of people are going after golden blueprints. Yeah, they said they'd add bookshelves, but we haven't seen it yet. And where does the gold go? Well, gold mainly goes in this thing. Where all your materials at. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit of material. But the gold goes here. So, if somebody wants your gold, if they don't they don't want to spend the time breaking through one of these, if you've got your gold stashed in there, 
they're gonna break this. That means all that material was bye bye. It's all they're after is the gold. Now them reducing the weight of gold was nice. Them reducing the weight of a lot of materials was pretty nice. Still doesn't help the fact that this game's just not fun anymore. I mean, at times it was fun, other times it was just time sink, it was boring. Like, why does the mortar and pestle only have to both slots? Why do you have to do a bunch of mortar and pestles? I mean, this is pretty cool. Got a lot of room, but it takes so damn long to, to make it. Glider suit was really nice in the beginning, and then they kept nerfing it, nerfing it. <laughs> glider suit's not fun anymore. Climbing pits don't, don't last that long. You don't have enough stamina to do anything. You're putting a lot of points in the fortitude just to stay alive because the temperatures are all jacked up. I mean, granted, this is a mythical world. Not like Earth, but... Be nice and fine, then a heat wave comes in, and then you're dead. No matter what kind of... How your food is. The vitamin thing, yeah, that was a nice touch, but then it can get crappy when you get vitamin deficient. Or you overeat. And you have no choice but to kill your character and respawn. Taming, I'm, I'm not really fond of taming. I mean... Yeah, they say, oh, you need a company so you can have a tamer. But if I want to use an animal, I still got to put points into being able to ride the damn thing because my character is so stupid it doesn't know how to get on a saddle and ride it. So you're putting points into taming, you're putting points into whatever else you need to put. I mean, if you want to maintain a ship, you got to put your skill points into captaineering. So you can utilize your sails quicker, and so your crew can be cheaper. Pain in the butt if you want to build a ship. Well, as you can see, I'm limited. I have 14 points because they gave us more skill points. But if I wanted to say build a brigantine way down here, that's a lot of points I have to sink into building a brigantine, which means I won't be able to make armor. Might not be able to tame stuff. Might not be able to build that sword or get my bow strong. Reload a little bit quicker. Or make rifles. I can't even can't even make artillery. I can now with the 14 points, but That must be a mod. Medium stone gates. Huh. Server I'm on starting to add mods, which is not that fun. Oh yeah. Nothing in here. Except for grappling hook, which shouldn't even be under piracy. It should be under metal tools like the climbing pick. You use it all the time to get on and off or to get on your boat. Them ladders are port. I don't know if I gotta rate this game on a scale of one to ten. I rate it at a five, only because 500 hours, and I don't want to play the game anymore. 475 hours, and I don't want to play the game anymore because I've done most everything. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't fought the Kraken, but I'd have to get. What is it? Eight more power stones. Seven more on land, because I only have one. Seven more on land. And then I have to find the ghost ship. Get, fight him, kill him for the power stone, and then go to the Kraken. I do that math, and that's like one or two people. That's, that's a long time. And I don't feel like doing that. I play on a 9x9, nine nine, which is smaller than official. Yes. But I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours going to all these different Power Stone places. And then to the Kraken, right in the middle. 
I don't even know where the ghost ship's at. And I haven't uncovered that much, but it, it's actually a lot. It takes a long time to travel around and discover islands to get discovery points. And to get some power stones to get the discovery points from the power stone. And granted, it's only nine discovery points for us to, to get a level. Unlike official. But that's still a lot. And on this server, 382. Yes, you do the math. And you can't just go get all the islands. You have no choice but to do the power stones just to get max level 101. I'm not a fan of mods. So the more they put mods in the server, the less a fan I am. Yes, some mods are quality of life, but other mods just break the game. They put an offline protection mod on that doesn't make you invincible, but raises your damage, stuff like that. And they had all kinds of problems, like some ships became invincible, other ships broke into pieces, people abusing the system. All that good jazz. Yep, when I record a video, I should really put my phone on vibrate. So, a 5. Why do I rank this game a 5? Because I'm bored of it. I don't have fun when I play it. I built a few, quite a few ships. Some servers took hours and hours and hours to grind the material to build the ship. Other servers are really quick. This server takes a while, even with Thames, to build a ship. Uh, no one to play with. Weekend Warrior playing with a few people, just having a little bit of fun, but then it still becomes tedious because you're like, man, I want to drive my boat, I need more gold, or something like that. It only took a few minutes to feed everybody. But that's because I'm at a little outpost. I'm not at the main base. Where there's a bunch of ships and a bunch of crew. Screw all that. I'm with everyone. Maybe when the next big update comes out, we can explore that. But I, I still don't see... Unless they make very huge changes, I still don't see this becoming like art. Where people, all they do is eat, sleep, work, and arc. I got 2,000 hours on arc. I, I really enjoy it. I haven't played it since this game come, came out. But I think I might go back to it. Maybe start a new character. Maybe hop on my old characters. I really don't know. I have a level 103 character on official small tribes I can play with, but... Official servers, man. Fun and not fun at the same time. Plus Ark, I kind of feel like I've seen everything. This game, even though there's islands I've never been to, I still feel like I've seen everything. I've done everything at least once, for the most part. And besides running circles around the, this stupid base I built, I don't feel like doing anything else. I know this is a rant more than a review, but that's how it is for me and a lot of people. I mean, look at this guy. Level 8. Logged on. Played for an hour or two. Hasn't returned. And his character is... How old is, is 62 years old. Character's been there for a while. My character, 75. Wrinkly and gray. This is another kind of dumb mechanic. Getting old, getting gray. At least they took out, out the debuff. So that was something. I'm going to end it here because it turn into more of a rant than anything some people don't like the looks of the game some people don't care 
a lot of people are just just bored with it. Even some of the big YouTubers, they're really not playing this game anymore. They're back to Ark and their other games. So until the game developers come out with a really big update, which apparently is going to be another month away, I think I am done with Atlas for a while. But I don't know. You never know. I might come on just to build something. I might come on to, to dink around. But for the most part, the game's kind of boring, tedious, and stale. That's it. Thanks for watching. As always, see you next time.